Welcome back to Adventures of Mule Hawk, where we do all things Colorado camping, camper vans, hikes, paddling, you name it. Many folks are looking to boondock in their RV or camper van while skiing at a ski resort. But unfortunately, this trend has been coming to a close as more and more ski resorts do not allow overnight parking. This year, 2020, especially ski resorts are having visitors make reservations for parking spots, even for daytime skiing because of COVID. So please don't ever count on being able to sleep in your RV or your camper van overnight in a ski resort parking lot. Most likely you will be ticketed, towed, or someone will come knock, knock, knocking and ask you to leave. The next best option is also very limited come winter. Many national forest roads and BLM lands close for the winter season in Colorado. I assume this is because they don't bother to plow the roads. However, we have found that if there is snowmobiling allowed in the national forest or BLM land you're looking to camp at, you might be able to overnight park your RV in the staging area or the parking lot area, um, but assume that amenities such as trash, toilets, and definitely water will be unavailable. Sometimes pit toilets are available in places like this, but please don't ever put trash down a pit toilet. It clogs them up and it's really gross. If you plan to boondock in a staging area or parking lot of a national forest, always make sure it's allowed first to avoid a ticket and always come prepared to pack out your own trash and have enough water. State and national parks close most of their campgrounds in Colorado in winter. The parks themselves are usually open for day use only, just no overnight parking or camping. Typically, this is again because they don't plow the roads through the campground areas. Uh, and usually all the amenities like water and bathhouses are shut off for the season. I do think Moraine Campground in Rocky Mountain National Park is usually the one campground open year round. Um, but this year again is 2020 with the COVID restrictions, it's closed. Uh, you could check Mesa Verde, Great Sand Dunes, and Black Canyon. They may also have one to two campgrounds open year round. Um, go to the NPS website and check on that first though, just to make sure again with COVID, I'm not really sure, but I'll look it up and put it on the screen now. Um, there's also a lot of burn closures in the state of Colorado right now, and that's because of all the wildfires we just had. So make sure you're checking those websites in advance to see what's open. The main option that is available for winter RV camping in Colorado is RV parks. And not even many of these remain open year round. The ones that are fill up quickly since it is a rare and limited resource. So if at all possible, make your reservations in advance to secure a spot. If you can't get into an RV park, you are left with a few last resort options, parking overnight in a big box store parking lot, a rest stop off of a highway, a hospital overnight parking lot. Um, and then of course you have Boondockers Welcome, Harvest Hosts, and Hip Camp. Overnight parking in parking lots can be risky as not all big box stores or hospitals allow it. Be sure to ask and plan ahead. Rest areas come with huge semi-trucks who run their diesel engines all night long, but if you're one of those people who's used to that noise or runs your own generator, maybe rest areas for you. But check the rules because some rest areas only allow you to stay there for up to eight hours. There's also no guarantee that Boondockers Welcome, Harvest Host, or Hip Camp will be open and available in the specific area you want, and they usually come with a small fee, but it's totally worth checking those websites, and I will link those in the description box down below. Uh, these days, there just seems to be more options for cabins, yurts, and Airbnb rentals, which is becoming more of the norm for winter glamping in Colorado, and sadly, that makes it much less affordable and, in, and for us at least, much less desirable. If you're new to our channel, thanks for joining in. We do all things camper van, Colorado, um, and be sure to hit subscribe and turn on the bell notification as coming up soon, we're about to make a video about how we heat our camper van and how we stay warm uh, doing winter camping up here in the Colorado Rockies. So 
Stay tuned.